Hi, how are you? What do we have today? Well, I have this violin. Okay. Uh, it belonged to my son, and he wanted to give it to his niece for her birthday, but he passed away before that day. Uh -huh. So he was trying to do something different. So he went and bought a violin. Just so happened the kids came over, and he was playing it, and she was like, uh, uncle. And he said, what? He said, she said, you got to tune that. And he said, what do you know about that? And she said, well, give it here. So she took it, she did some to these things here, and she did like that, and then she did something like that, and then she, then she started playing, and he was like, so you know how to play a violin? She said, well, yeah, I played in school. He said, oh, okay, awesome. Okay, hopefully maybe one day you'll teach me how to play the violin. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, great, uncle. But you know, that, that moment didn't come. So he was already sick. Mm -hmm. So he had kidney failure. Oh, no. So he had passed July 30th, but mm -hmm. her birthday was September 1st. And he told me, I'm gonna give her that for her birthday since she know how to tune yeah. So she really inspired me, you know, as a kid to want to learn how to play instruments mm -hmm. at her age. Oh, so, okay, cool, that's good. You can give that to her as a gift. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Know, so I'm like, okay, so I want to keep that memory going because mm -hmm. she do know that part, but yeah. she don't know that he told me, I'm going to give this to her for mm -hmm. her birthday. So be very special. Yeah, so she's going to like that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure that she got it the way he wanted it. Okay. So I, I want to know if I can get her name engraved on it somewhere. Absolutely. So that she know it came from him for her birthday. She okay. doesn't know she's getting it yet. Oh, but. it's gonna be an awesome surprise. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's take this. Behind the purple curtain, follow me. Okay, so first things first, we have to mark the violin to make sure we get the engraving on the right spot. So I print it out what she wants engraved on there. Um, so now I'm just gonna take the back and I'm going to make sure that it looks centered. Um, so I just kind of eyeball it, then I mark it, and then I measure it. Um, so it's a it's a pretty lengthy process that uh, I can do several times over and over because I don't get it right on the first time. So I'll just start measuring stuff. about to engrave the um, violin. I have one shot. If I mess this up, I'm going to cry. Um, okay, so let's see how this goes. back in the case so we are going to take this to the back of the shop so we can put the final touches on it so to get there faster because it's super far away we're going to take the razor come with me all right let's go all right so i got the completed violin in its case again and we're going to clean it up and then call the client and let her know that her order is ready for pickup Okay, I have the completed violin. We're gonna go ahead and go outside to deliver it because I believe she's here. Let's go see. Thank you so much. 